Hypertrophic heart disease uh, can pre uh, represent a very wide spectrum of conditions. Uh, and in particular, the type of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which has been the subject of our program in this area, can affect people either very early in life, uh, in midlife, or even later in life. These individuals uh, sustain uh, abnormal growth in thickness of their heart muscle, which affects the ability of the muscle to relax when the heart's filling, and also in its more uh, complex forms, can result in uh, obstruction of the outflow to the heart and leaking of the mitral valve. The condition, while not common, can in some individuals uh, uh, be a, a significant source of limitation in activity uh, and unfortunately for a very small percentage of patients can even be a cause of sudden death early in life. Uh, when we hear these uh, accounts in the news of young athletes who uh, unfortunately passed away during strenuous physical activity, uh, a portion of those patients may have had undiagnosed hypertrophic heart disease as the cause. Uh, the disease was first appreciated from the anatomic standpoint in the middle of the last century. Uh, as the physiology of how the disease produces obstruction to the outflow of the heart was appreciated, uh, in the 1960s, surgical options were developed for its treatment in those individuals who were symptomatic. As a consequence, uh, it was discovered that if the uh, abnormal muscle thickness present in the outflow of the heart is reduced surgically, as it was in the early era, or in the contemporary practice by surgery or by catheter-based treatment, patients who have hypertrophic heart disease, which is symptomatic, can have their symptoms significantly uh, improved, thus improving their lifestyle. However, patients who have this condition uh, have to have a very thorough medical and cardiac evaluation uh, because the disease represents such a wide spectrum of uh, anatomic and physiologic uh, varieties. Uh, not every patient requires intervention uh, from the surgical or interventional standpoint. The interventions are done primarily for control of symptoms, and also there is a group of patients with this condition who have to be monitored and uh, protected against the risk of sudden death. Uh, a cardiologist experienced in working in this area uh, can make those determinations based on uh, information and data-driven uh, and evidence-based decision-making uh, to help individualize for a given patient what their specific needs are. In summary, in a comprehensive multidisciplinary program for the treatment of hypertrophic heart disease, an understanding of a patient's genetic background, a patient's particular anatomy and symptoms, and an assessment of their risk for uh, sudden death uh, and their exercise capacity all must be taken into account to decide what, if anything, is needed for a, a given individual. Uh, the function of our uh, hypertrophic uh, heart disease program in the MGH Heart Center is to do exactly that and to deal with this condition in a uh, multidisciplinary fashion, which gives not only the most uh, telling uh, analysis and, uh, and uh, uh, patient-specific treatment plan, but also ensures patients will have uh, the longest potential life expectancy and symptom-free existence. For more information on this, uh, I would encourage you to look at the uh, details about the hypertrophic heart disease program at the Mass General Hospital's uh, Heart Center website.